వెల్కమ్ టు ఈపీజీ పాఠశాల ఐఎమ్ రవి కోరి సెట్టర్ సీనియర్ ఫెలో డాక్టర్ విఎస్ వాకంకర్ ఆర్కియాలజికల్ రీసెర్చ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఇన్ భోపాల్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ వీ విల్ బీ డిస్కసింగ్ ది జనరల్ క్యారెక్టరిస్టిక్స్ ఆఫ్ ద మిడిల్ ప్యాలోలిథిక్ కల్చర్ ఇన్ ద ఇండియన్ సబ్ కాంటినెంట్ ఇన్ ది పేపర్ ఆన్ ప్రీ అండ్ ప్రోటో హిస్టారిక్ కల్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అండ్ ఇన్ ది సబ్జెక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ కల్చర్ the aim of this particular presentation is to give you an idea that in the region where we have found series of lower paleolithic sites we have also found middle paleolithic sites what does it mean is that the lower lower and middle paleolithic sites occur together and the fact that the paleolithic period has been subdivided into distinctive cultural periods is identified on the basis of distinctive stone tool types in the lower paleolithic the diagnostic tool types were hand axes and cleavers but during the middle paleolithic period there is a change in the typology as well as the technology of making stone tools here we see small implements and have been identified as scrapers borers and points and in addition to that we also have a, a component of diminutive hand axes this is the characteristics of the middle paleolithic assemblages that we have documented from a large number of sites in the indian subcontinent in addition to that um, efforts have also been made to understand the chronological succession of uh, paleolithic cultures in the indian subcontinent while we have dated lower paleolithic to the lower pleistocene it is also uh, important for us to understand when exactly the lower paleolithic comes to an end and gives rise to the middle paleolithic and the manner in which the middle paleolithic populations adapted to distinctive environmental regions in india and in addition to that we also see increase in the number of middle paleolithic sites in the indian subcontinent so our effort will be to get a fairly uh, general idea of the characteristics of the middle paleolithic time period as well as the life phase of the middle paleolithic middle paleolithic communities in the indian subcontinent this map gives us an idea of the relationship between lower and middle paleolithic cultures as well as the fact that they are also equally widespread in the indian subcontinent so sankalia identified uh, middle paleolithic in the pravara valley and gave the name uh, nevasan and also equated this nevasan with series 2 and gravel 2 in the river valley and he also identified the fact that lower middle paleolithic was characterized by flake flake industry including scrapers points and borers and then subsequent research carried out following the work of uh, sankalya in other parts of uh, india gave rise to identifying regional variation based on the use of different varieties of raw materials raw materials included siliceous rocks like chert chalcedony jasper agate in addition to uh, occasional use of quartzite and sandstone based on uh, a series of um, uh, investigations at a number of middle paleolithic sites it is it was possible to identify early middle paleolithic and late middle paleolithic early middle paleolithic was characterized by the pres- presence of acheulean elements such as diminutive hand axes whereas the late middle paleolithic has uh, revealed a tendency towards production of uh, blades leading to upper paleolithic tradition the basic techniques that were involved in the production of middle paleolithic tools were mousterian and lavalva techniques the chronology of the middle paleolithic in the indian subcontinent is uh, bracketed between 1 125000 years to 40000 years ago in other words late middle pleistocene to upper pleistocene in some of the middle paleolithic sites gastropod shells have been also uh, obtained which have given us a date of about 23000 bc during the middle paleolithic period we also see that these uh, communities for the first time occupied caves and rock shelters for example bimbetka and adamgar in the vindhya basin open air Uh, workshop sites of the middle paleolithic have also been identified at a number of sites in the kaladgi basin and kovalli is one good example some of the riverine sites include nevasa and taminhal 
Lavasa is in the Pravara Valley and Taminal is in the Malaprabha Valley. The gravels which contain middle paleolithic tools also have yielded some of the animal fossil bones of Bos, Bubalus and Equus and as well as elephant uh, fossils, Elephas nomadicus variety. These are some of the examples of flake tools which included scrapers, single sided scrapers, end scrapers, transverse scrapers, points and uh, uh, double scrapers and so on made from flakes detached from larger cores using Lavalva technology as well as Mousterian technology. And the flakes were subject to secondary retouch. As a result, working edges were obtained along the sides of the flake. Nevasa has been considered a type site in the context of the study of Middle Paleolithic sites for a very, very long time in the Indian subcontinent. This because of the pioneering uh, studies carried out by H.T. Sankalia. And subsequently, uh, the sites in the Pravara Valley and further south in the northern Karnataka region covering the Kaladgi Basin were carried out by Banerjee and Corvinus. As mentioned earlier, we have some middle Paleolithic sites in the context of rock shelters, particularly in the Indian region. Amongst them, Adamgarh was one of the early sites where middle Paleolithic excavations were carried out by R.V. Joshi. Subsequently, another site which is more popular uh, amongst prehistorians is Bhimbetka rock shelters 3F23. In the Narmada Valley, two or three very important sites have been uh, identified and uh, these sites were also subject to detailed investigations uh, during the last uh, 30 years and uh, earlier. Adamgar rock shelter is one of the primary context middle Paleolithic sites in India where the artifacts have been found in the sandy uh, clay deposit and the artifacts were made from local quartzite including and the types include chopper chopping tools, hand axes, scrapers, points and borers. Excavations in the Bimbetka region at uh, um, 3F23 uh, and uh, associated rock shelters have also given um, development of evidence uh, regarding the development of uh, Middle Paleolithic out of uh, the local Ashulian, where predominantly Lavalva method of uh, uh, detaching flakes from cores was employed and the tools included uh, scrapers, denticulates, knives made from local quartzite. Saumnapur is another site which occurs in a hill slope, hill slope context. It was an excavated uh, uh, site during the 1980s and has been identified as a primary context uh, fa factory site with local quartzite, dolerite and chalcedony. Uh, raw materials were used for making stone artifacts of the Middle Paleolithic category. In the Nimar district of Madhya Pradesh, a large number of middle Paleolithic sites have been found in the context of surface occurrences and uh, the chief raw materials that were used for making tools were quartzite and chert. These are examples of uh, the sites in the Bimbetka region. The rock shelters that have formed in the Vindian sandstone are shown in this particular site. This is an excavated trench at 3 of 23 that was excavated by V. N. Mishra. And here there is a continuous sequence of lower Paleolithic, middle Paleolithic and upper Paleolithic phases uh, revealed by um, gradual uh, change in the typology of artifacts from lower levels to the upper levels. In the Tapia Valley, a large number of open air middle Paleolithic sites uh, have been find, found and here the emphasis was given to using cryptocrystalline silica rocks such as jasper, chert and so on. And the reason being uh, largely covered by the basalts, uh, the basalt rock was also occasionally used for making tools. Further westwards into Saurashtra in the Orsang Valley, several sites have also been systematically documented. It has been inferred that the Middle Paleolithic developed out of the late Ashulian tradition in the region. And then there are series of sites which indicate this transition from Lower Paleolithic to the Middle Paleolithic. The sites include Sagdra, Pipia and Bascario. Artifacts are, were made from quartzite and the types included uh, scrapers, end scrapers, side scrapers, notch, notches, miniature hand axes and points and also miniature 
cleavers, etc. It has been tentatively dated to the late middle Pleistocene to early upper Pleistocene in that particular region. Sites from Rajasthan. Rajasthan is one of the regions which has been subject to investigations on the Middle Paleolithic for a very, very long time. The early work in the Looney Valley by V. N. Mishra has led to identifying a distinctive Middle Paleolithic industry which has been termed Looney industry. Here again, typologically, the artifacts are comparable to the distinctive types such as scrapers, borers, notches and points and so on. But the use of cryptocrystal and silica material is preferred in this particular region. The Banas River Valley has also given evidence of Middle Paleolithic uh, um, assemblages associated with gravel too. Sites such as Bhutia, Hazra Keri, Beaver and Champa Keri uh, have yielded a large number of uh, scraper tools as well as um, hand axes made from chert, jasper, quartzites and stone and so on. Levalva technol technology for producing flake tools has also been documented from this area. Barmer districts tools were largely made on uh, jasper. The important sites in Rajasthan area include Pushkar and Didwana in uh, Nagaur district, particularly at Sixtinar, Singitelau, Sojat, and also sites from further east of Rajasthan into western Madhya Pradesh uh, in the river valleys such as Chambal Basin. Uh, several sites have also been known and also from other uh, regions in um, Rajasthan, uh, the sites come from Jaisalmel district, particularly at Bojka and Pokhran. This slide uh, shows the representative tool types that have been found from Rajasthan region, Luni Valley as well as Wagan Valley in that particular area. In eastern India, sites in um, Bihar are uh, of particular interest to us because it is eastern extension of the Vindhyan Basin as well and Vidyas are known for the availability of uh, suitable raw materials such as quartzite, sandstone, chert, jasper and other varieties of crystal crystalline silica. There is a suspected occurrence of uh, uh, middle Paleolithic tools in the Garrow Hills area, but systematic study of the material from Garrow Hills is uh, still um, in the infancy. In Orissa, at sites like Kevinjar, Denkanal, and in um, Sundargarh districts, a large number of middle Paleolithic sites have been uh, documented and they have also yielded typical middle Paleolithic tools made from crystalline silica as well as limestone and quartz. In the Emuna Valley, for a very long time, this region was known to be uh, devoid of uh, Paleolithic sites. But in recent years, the site of Kalpi um, has yielded a lithic assemblage which has been identified as uh, you know, Middle Paleolithic. And they have also produced an IRSL date of this particular assemblage going back to about 45,000 years ago. Here also, a large number of animal fossils, especially the fossil bone of an elephant tusk, uh, has also been uh, um, recovered from excavations, indicating the fact at the time of Middle Paleolithic occupation, this area experienced humid climate. Kortalayar Kortel Basin research is uh, assuming increasing importance because of uh, systematic uh, investigations that have been carried out in the region. Uh, multidisciplinary investigations have helped us establish an absolute time frame for the succession of uh, Paleolithic cultures in this area. And uh, as of uh, uh, Middle Paleolithic uh, uh, culture, the late Pleistocene as, been, as has been assigned to uh, in this region. Here, uh, the excavators have also observed that the lower and middle Paleolithic artifacts uh, occur uh, together as well as separately. These sites are, are in the context of Gondwana formations where um, we have uh, occurrence of quartzite, sandstone and other cryptocrystalline variety of uh, raw materials that was suitable for making middle Paleolithic artifacts. Prepared core or Levalva technique was dominant in the way in which the flakes were detached from the cores. 
diminutive hand axes which are common in southern indian early middle paleolithic are also found in the kortalayar basin this slide presents the distribution of middle paleolithic sites in the southeast coast particularly in the kortalayar region where the site of athiram pakkam has uh, uh, been subject to detailed investigations and the succession from lower to middle paleolithic have been systematically documented and this slide also presents um, the excavated area as well as some of the examples of uh, scrapers uh, belonging to the middle paleolithic period other um, south indian middle paleolithic sites include ramayogi agraharam along the vishakhapatnam coast and uh, sishalam plateau kadappa basin as well as uh, the lower krishna valley where the site of nagarjuna konda uh, has been subject to investigations uh, and uh, a succession of paleolithic uh, cultures have been documented in the sishalam plateau open air sites mixed with lower paleolithic assemblages have also been found along the bhavanasi tagileru gundlakamma and sagileru river valleys uh, these sites have been uh, uh, systematically uh, surveyed and uh, assemblages from these sites have been uh, studied from the point of view of typology and technology for the northwest of um, the kadappa basin uh, into karnataka region the shoropur doab sites are equally important where in the hunski valley uh, the middle paleolithic sites are found in contiguity with the lower paleolithic sites here again um, what we see um, distinctive difference between lower and middle paleolithic is the use of raw materials while limestone was extensively used during the lower paleolithic period during the middle paleolithic period we see switch over to chert particularly for making middle paleolithic tools in the deccan trap area although uh, the middle paleolithic research was pioneered in the pravara river valley uh, the distribution of uh, middle paleolithic tools is uh, tied up with the distribution of lower paleolithic sites both these uh, sites are uh, sparsely distributed across the deccan plateau uh, particularly the region covered by the deccan volcanic province for the south of the Dec deccan volcanic province when we enter into the kaladgi basin which is also in the uh, southwestern um, contiguity of the bhima basin where the sites in the hunski valley have been uh, reported the kaladgi basin um, research also has documented occurrence of a large number of middle paleolithic sites not only in the context of lower paleolithic but also distinctive middle paleolithic sites have also been reported in a variety of geomorphic contexts particularly along the hill slopes large number of uh, uh, middle paleolithic factory sites have been found and the site of kovalli as well as the uh, benkaneri uh, site uh, near the lakmapur ashulian site are representative examples in addition to that this region has also yielded uh hundreds of middle paleolithic sites in the region but most interesting research um, in southern india relating to the middle paleolithic was uh, has been carried out in the southwestern part of the Kala, uh, kadappa basin which is known as karnool sub basin here for the first time series of middle paleolithic sites have been uh, noticed uh, in the context of uh, 74000 years ago volcanic ash layer in the jureri valley particularly at uh, the near the village of jolapuram series of uh, uh, excavations were conducted in the recent past and uh, for the first time underneath the uh, volcanic ash layer uh, middle paleolithic flake tools have been uh, recovered as a result it has now been possible to date the antiquity of the middle paleolithic to 80000 years ago the homo sapiens who have been uh, Uh, at assigned the middle stone age uh, status in africa and the comparability of uh, middle paleolithic and middle stone age artifacts between india and africa has given us uh, a new clue to the fact that expansion of modern humans into the indian subcontinent occurred much earlier than it has it was thought so the work carried out at jolapuram has gained significance uh, in the context of the ongoing debate uh of uh, the
the timing of the exit of Homo sapiens out of Africa. The middle Paleolithic tool assemblages that have been found here uh, were uh, largely made on locally occurring uh, limestone and other cryptocrystalline variety of rocks. Distinctive um, preference for high quality raw materials has been uh, well documented in the context of Jalapuram investigations. So Jirere Valley is uh, in the Karnul uh, district, uh, about 15 uh, kilometers uh, south of Banganpalle town. And the, this valley is, uh, it, this river valley is a tributary of the Kunderu river basin. So as mentioned earlier, recent investigations have identified the presence of lower Paleolithic, middle Paleolithic, and upper Paleolithic in an area of about 2000 acres. This slide gives you an idea of the variety of stone tools, flake tools, blade tools, microblades, so on and so forth. This slide um, presents uh, the context in which middle Paleolithic stone tools have been found at Jalapuram in the Jureri Valley. Particularly at locality number three, uh, the thick ash bed that is shown here uh, goes to a depth of nearly 2.5 meters. Underneath this ash bed, uh, within the silt deposits, uh, a horizon containing uh, flake tools made from limestones of the middle Paleolithic category were documented for the first time. This ash has been dated to about 74,000 years ago. Naturally, the artifacts underlying this particular dated ash are older than the ash bed itself. So as a result, for the first time, we have been able to date the Middle Paleolithic to at least 74,000 years ago. In conclusion, we can say that many Middle Paleolithic sites are found in the same areas of Lower Paleolithic occupation. When compared to the Lower Paleolithic sites, the number of Middle Paleolithic sites are few in number. There was a shift in raw material into more siliceous variety. In other words, preference to high quality raw materials. Older tool types continued in diminutive sizes along with the new variety of flake tool assemblages. In this presentation, we have focused our attention on the distinctive uh, phase of the Paleolithic, which has been designated Middle Paleolithic. This Middle Paleolithic is associated with the emergence of Homo sapiens and expansion of Homo sapiens out of Africa. The technology that was invented by the Homo sapiens, uh, which is uh, identified as Middle Stone Age technology uh, is, re is represented by uh, flake tools and also emphasis on the use of uh, high quality raw materials including chert, jasper, agate and such other materials. The discovery of um, Middle Paleolithic uh, sites in India and Africa as well as the associated uh, uh, assemblages and their comparative study has given us clues to the fact that there is a direct relationship between the emergence of uh, Homo sapiens in Africa and exit of Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens out of Africa into other parts of the Indian subcontinent. As a result of the dating that has been uh, uh, made at site like Jalapuram, it has now been possible to suggest that Homo sapiens exited Africa much earlier than uh, 50,000 years. Um, which was uh, until recently uh, the time uh, that was uh, uh, identified as the entry of uh, modern humans into the Indian subcontinent. Thank you and for more details please refer to the e-text.